All right, this one's gonna be on a workflow video. Haven't done this in a while, but um, someone asked me, do I still use the uh, terminal web browser? And I actually do, I use it every day. Uh, so I'm pretty fast at it. And um, instead of using your GUI web browser, you can actually use the terminal one to do a lot of stuff that you think you couldn't do, but uh, you could do, all right? Um, now I'm not here to tell you that, hey, you, you should get rid of your GUI web browser. That's stupid. You, you're going to need that for, you know, doing your banking or uh, shopping or whatever it is. Uh, you're still going to need the GUI, okay, for the most part. Because some of these sites, they have like heavy uh, JavaScript or PHP or whatever it is. And you can't do that in the terminal, right? Uh, but what you can do in the terminal, it's a lot more than you think. So I'll demonstrate it out like how I would, you know, use it. Um, and you know, if there's like a dedicated program for it, then uh, I'll use that over like my, um, you know, terminal web browser. All right. So for the first part here, uh, I mainly use like a lot of Reddit stuff and in Reddit, they have this thing called RTV, which a lot of people should know by now if you don't, but you know, I mainly use my RSS reader for, uh, for all the things. So I don't have to like go out and search the website it would just come to uh you know my uh rss reader which is uh newsboat here but yeah let's go to this reddit here and you know if i wanted to um see what they post here whatever it is you know you can see uh this one they're talking about some stuff and if i want to either reply or see the comments i can open rtv right and i can log in here and i can you know reply or make a post or whatever it is um and then once i close out of that boop i'm back to the article i'm pretty quick at this thing and i can skip on to the next one next one you know you get the idea here um where's the other one with the images bash okay okay where's the other one let's go back here okay we go down to this like unix point here so if we're looking at having, like an image or something so for example if it has an image um which this one has like a uh, a gif or something or a video so for example number four here all right if i hit four it should open with uh uh what was it there my mpv player because this one is, is a video all right and look at that i can look at it real quick you know see what this guy is doing whatever it is all right and i'm out real quick um do you have another one of that for example I think we have one up here for number three here okay we'll go to three let's say for example this one they have a png here a number four and i can look at the images without opening a uh, you know a gui like uh, in your web browser right i can do it here with just pure w3m img so i hit four here and it'll bust out a new window and i can look at the image uh within my terminal now, obviously, I'm a little cheating uh, sometimes if uh, if it's a video or something that I have to use like MPV. But still, that's like it doesn't take a lot of process, you know, uh, with a uh, huge GY web browser. Right. So if it's video or like animated uh, images or something like that, then I'll, I have to use like MPV. So it's not true uh, command line or a terminal. But for videos, uh, that's what I have to use right uh anything else here so that's what i i, I handle um rss for uh, reddit right all the subreddits are in there that i uh look at and uh the other one i use a lot is uh, youtube so you know obviously let me give you an example here in trailers so these are a bunch of channels i follow and if I wanted to, let's say, for example, uh, look at this one and I want to read the comments, I can read the comments here straight from the terminal, All right? Read it and then let's go on to the next page and read that. You know, you get the idea here. And if I log in here, I can actually post uh, a comment, which I show you that in like uh, a while back. Uh, what else is there? So if I wanted to do, um, what was that? Read the um, description. I can open that. We can look at an info on it. So in here, what do we got in here? 
basically just gives you the title and who's in it and all that. So not that big of a deal. So that's how I do that. Now, if I want to watch like what is the video, or whatever it is, I can do uh, uh, open it with MPV and it will play it in a second. Right in the corner here. So that's how I would watch, uh, you know, YouTube videos and read comments or look at the description, whatever it is. Uh, so I can do that with any of the YouTube links um, or the YouTube feeds I have in here. So those are the two major ones that I, you know, look at either YouTube or Reddit. But uh, there's some times that you would have to use the, um, you know, uh, terminal web browser. So, for example... Uh, another thing I always do is look at uh, open directories, and I got an example here. Which one was the one with the fast one? This SpongeBob one here, or whatever, right? So this one, um, people usually post links, and the link in here is like number one here. So we did one, and this will open with my um, W3M web browser. And here in the open directories, you know, they usually have just folders, and inside the folders should be like uh, either uh, you know whatever files they posted in this case is an AVI file so I can actually download this with aria 2 C W get whatever it is but this is an AVI and I just want to preview it I can do that by just opening with MPV and I can do that real quick just like we did with the um, what is that the YouTube videos right and look at that they open it real quick uh, like I said, this is not a true command line because we are using a video player to stream these, but uh, it makes it a little bit, you know, uh, more usable if you're having to deal with um, uh, videos, right? If you if you're using just like for uh, images and just pure text, then yeah, you don't really need any anything else really. Um, anything else we're gonna do here? So that's pretty much how I handle. Um, you know, Reddit, YouTube, and basic uh, web pages. But if I wanted to do like straight up W3M to do like, uh, you know, uh, st stuff that you would do on a uh, GUI web browser, search for information, stuff like that, uh, we can do that in here too, right? So this is W3M. Uh, I have a setup to do hinting mode real quick. Uh, if you don't know what hinting mode is, in the GUI, um, either in, um, Firefox or Chromium, you can install like a Vim plugin. Uh, in this case, I'm using Vimium here, but you know, you can do like a hinting mode where you can jump to links and stuff like that. So we do, you know, you can jump to there or uh, NBN. You get the idea that I'm jumping to uh, different uh, links in here, right? So pretty much the same thing, and that's what the numbers means. These are hints that you can jump to it. <coughs> So we jump to 17 here, right? And then we search for, let's say my name, let's do uh, show notes. And it should, hopefully you should find my GitHub page, which should be on 24 here. So we hit 24, we jump to that, hit enter. And guess what? We're in GitHub here. Um, you can see at the bottom here, it says GitHub. All right, so uh, let's go down to my show notes. And what's the last one I did? G2 and in here we can read up our uh, you know our code if we wanted to all right <clears throat> now I mainly use this for um, torrents um, you know uh, because it's just quicker and I don't have to deal with those ads that they have and as someone told me that they are actually using crypto miners on torrent websites nowadays so uh, it will use like all your CPU processes because you know a bunch of people have like ad blockers nowadays. So that's their new ad revenue by using crypto miners in the back end. Anyways, uh, when using a terminal one, they can't do any of that shit. No, no ad blocking or uh, you know um, crypto miners in the back end or whatever it is. Right. Anyways, let's do uh, torrent sites here. We'll use the Pirate Bay for this example, although we're using the Mirror Bay because it's quicker for me. But let's say I search for wallpapers. Look at that, right? And uh, I can download this uh, 
you know torrent uh, using the magnet links or the torrent link whatever it is um, and I'll open it with my uh, transmission daemon which I already showed you that in the past so I don't want to do it again but you know really quick I can open the magnet link and I'll start downloading uh, with my daemon um, so that's how I do it for torrent and it works with just about any other torrent websites um, you see here we do search for torrent uh, and here was his Elite X here. Same thing. I searched for wallpapers. Um, and, you know, they have sites for here that has, there should be a link in here somewhere if you go find it. But, yeah, you know, you can do this real quick, right? Um, what else can we do in here? So, let's say, for example, um, if you want to read the news, because, you know, some people... <clears throat> some people don't use an RSS uh, reader, right? They just like want to use, you know, a web page or something like that. They don't want to set up an RSS reader like I do here. Um, so how do you do that? So let's bust out my bookmarks. There's a bunch of text-based one that has like uh, news or like it, it works well in the, in the text-based uh, um, web browser. So let's say Hacker News, a very big one here. Right, so this is Hacker News. Uh, it looks kind of jumbled up, but we can actually turn on tables. What was that one called? Table borders. Okay, we'll enable it, and it should look prettier. Look at that. Or it looks, yeah, it looks prettier to me. I learned that one from, what's his name? Uh, Philippe S.A. or something like that. Uh, uh, well, yeah, he does like a bunch of, I'll call it plugins for W3M, and uh, I'll explain that more in the future, but he does some, some cool shit. That I'll explain it in the future, all right. But I uh, learned that tip from him for enabling borders or table borders. I mean, and in here, it's basically reading your tech news, mostly right from Hacker News. And you can open this sucker um, and you can read it. Or let's say you want to go more uh, the mainstream one. What was that one called? Uh, text only. And they have CNN. So you want to read some fake news, you can go CNN here, right? CNN does have a um, text-based one here. And if I want to open one of these suckers, um, you know, I can open it and read it here real quick. Or let's say if you want to open um, text only NPR. They have NPR if you want to read the news from there. And there you go, right? So you don't really need a uh, RSS reader to do any of this. If you just, you know, if you feel comfortable with just, just a uh, a website that you need to go to, and there you go. So these are some of the websites that you can get the news from uh, per day, right? And you can actually, you know, since these are opening in tabs, you can scroll through the different tabs that we open or close it off. Uh, close this one off uh, hopefully you get the idea but really quick I can just you know blaze through them um, not that hard uh, anything else in here um, oh yeah for example you know you want to use like some radio sites what the hell is it called radio internet radio we'll search for like 90s music uh, station here and this one has Brian Adams or whatever it is, and they have like a playlist. Uh, and if I open this, this one should open with um, what was that MPV, and it's just playing. So since these ones are just audio, MPV is just gonna you know use it from the command line. So you don't. This one doesn't really need the uh, the GUI portion of MP through um, MPV. Just using the command line here, right? And that's how it plays the. Uh, or is that the stream, the radio stream? And once I'm done, close out of that, I'm, I'm back, you know, to um, maybe a different station here. Let's say this one here. Let's refresh this here. All right, so open this thing here. And there you go, I can listen to another station. You get the idea. Uh, so that's how I handled that. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, images. Well, I did show you images for the other one, but um, you know, on web pages. So, for example, let's search for some images here. 
uh, I do have an LV for uh, Google Images here, so we'll do that real quick. We'll search for the Matrix. All right, and you see that uh, by default I don't have it enabled, but I can turn it on. What is that one called? W3M. Um, enable here. And there you go. This is uh, enabling the images. And that's how it show up. Although it looks kind of crappy, but you get images without any uh, GUI involvement, right? <laughs> um, so there you go. Because sometimes you do need images. Um, you know, when you go to some of these pages, you just want to see what it is. And you can actually render it within your uh, terminal. Although your terminal has to support the images. Um, right now I'm using Xterm, but a few other ones does support it. I believe GNOME Terminal and stuff like that should should work. But uh, you do need a W3M IMG um, for it to work, right? And you also need to enable it. But I like to disable it when I'm doing most of these stuff uh, by default. So we'll go and disable the images here. And so there we go. That's how it is uh, for images. Anything else we need to mention? Not really, but you know, I can do a lot of stuff, like I said, with this. And let's say, for example, Twitch, which I believe there's a program for it, but let's say, for example, I just go to Twitch uh, TV. And oh, shoot, I need to go to the mobile site. What's the. Is it mobile.twitch or whatever it is? Anyways, let me change the user agent here. It'll be quicker that way. It should automatically switch to the mobile one here. Okay, so there is uh, m.twitch.tv. So if you want to go to the mobile site, you have to do m.twitch.tv or use a user agent like I did. You know, I just changed it. <clears throat> but let's say, for example, um, hopefully the ones I don't get copyright, uh, this one here, Dota. I don't think anyone plays that shit anymore. But if I want to view this, uh, we can do the same thing with MPV, right? We'll open it. And it should open in a second, hopefully. If the stream's not dead. Okay, there you go. And I can watch it, right? Although you don't have no, um, uh, you know, chat. Because I think, I think that one is using, like, some type of maybe JavaScript or PHP or whatever it is they're using for uh, chatting. Um, I just wish that, you know, people just use, like, IRC or whatever it is. Because um, that thing is still, still functional, still good. You know, you don't need all these other stupid emoji icons and all that shit. Anywho, uh, so that's how you do that. And like I said, you can get away with a lot of stuff. Except for videos, you do need like a, uh, you know, a video player like MPV here. And if you're using like in a server environment, I believe you can do the videos in a, a frame buffer. Right. I'm not sure if that counts as straight terminal. But that's my little cheat for uh, videos and uh, animated uh images and all that um so that's my setup and that's how i uh you know do most of my command line stuff in here i can i mainly use it for searching information torrents or whatever it is uh you know if i'm doing like stack exchange and i have like a I don't know, vim delete line or whatever it is right hopefully something can pops up there you go, Vim delete line in certain mode. And you know, you get your people's comments, what their solution is or whatever it is. And you know, look up information in the terminal uh, web browser. And this thing is pretty quick, you know, it doesn't take a lot of resources to do. I mean, I did most of that shit there that you can see really quick. I can bounce around, I can jump around to each link really quick. Uh, using the numbers uh, hinting mode so that is my setup uh, for browsing from the terminal with a little cheat from you know MPV for videos because really I do want to watch videos uh, and images it's supportive you know it supports it uh, natively so you don't really need to open a GUI uh, but do you still need the uh, GUI web browser? Of course you do. Like I said, you, you're gonna need that for like online banking or some type of sites that allow, you know wants you to log in and stuff like that, 
but um, uh, you know, for uh, the terminal web browser, it can be a good thing because you're not distracted by images if you just get rid of everything, and uh, you're mainly just reading text, right? Um, and like I said, I, I mainly use this um, in my RSS reader because um, you know I, I mainly just read the title, and if the title doesn't entice me, I'm out. I'm going to the next one, right? I don't have time for these other dumb shits that uh, you know. Sometimes people they post like. Uh, you know, uh, thumbnails or whatever it is to, to distract you or, you know, to entice you to click on it or whatever it is in, in a GUI web browser. But in a terminal, uh, all you gotta do is text. And if, if I read the title and I'm not interested in that shit, I'm out. All right. I'm going on to the next one, <laughs> you know? Uh, and that saves a lot of time because, uh, a lot of these, you know, clickbaits, uh, titles, I can, I can read them and I'm like, okay, I'm out. Or if they put like a really cool icon, you know, usually in the GUI they, they can they can trick you to uh, to click on it and stuff like that. Like they put a hot chick, I'm clicking on that thing, you know what I'm saying? But in here, they can't do that shit. So uh, you know, I can just read the title and I'm I'm gone to the next one, you know, if it doesn't like interest me right away. And so maybe that can save time if you're doing this um, from a straight terminal kind of thing. Anywho, uh, so that's my setup. That's my workflow. And some of these stuff I haven't talked about, but uh, you know, some of these uh, FCF stuff, um, I'll show you in the future how to set up for uh, W3M. But for right now, I'm just demonstrating out, you know, uh, my setup here. All right, that'd be it for this one.